Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video, the Casio Calculator Overview. In this video we're going to look at several buttons on the calculator. We're going to start with the fraction button located here. We're going to input the fraction two thirds. Now notice how the cursor is located on the top level of the fraction. We can input two, but we need to navigate our way to the bottom of the fraction. And we can do that by using the central replay button. Press down and input your bottom number three. Here we have our fraction displayed. Now we're going to use the replay button to uh, move the cursor right, so we're now in the centre line, because we're now going to add a quarter to our two thirds. So press plus and then use the fraction button to enter in one quarter. Press equals, and here we have our answer, 11 twelfths. And we're going to use our answer from this particular calculation in our next calculation. We've got 11 twelfths stored here in our answer bank. We're going to work out 1 minus 11 twelfths, but rather than type in 11 twelfths, we're going to use the answer button located here, which will use our answer from our previous calculation. Press equals, and that should give us our answer of 1 twelfth. We're going to have a look now at the brackets. Brackets are located here, and we're going to use them to input the function 9 plus 3 within brackets, and then multiply by 4. Press equals and it will give us our answer of 48. Brackets are useful because it's calculated the 9 plus 3 before we then multiply by 4. Had we not used the brackets, we would have a different answer of 21. We're going to have a look at the x squared button now. We're going to calculate 4 squared. Press 4 and then x squared and then equals and here we have our answer, 16. Next to the x squared button is the square root button. We're going to use that now to calculate the square root of 16. Press the square root button, input 16 and press equals. And here's our answer 4, which is the positive square root of 16. Just above the square root function is the cube root function. To access this we need to press shift first. Press shift. Notice there's a little S in the top left hand corner. And then press the square root button to give us a cube root. We're going to calculate cube root of 8. Press equals and here's our answer 2. Let's try that again. Press shift. Then square root to get a cube root. This time we're looking for the cube root of 64. I've accidentally inputted 65, so to correct my mistake, I can use the delete function to erase what I've just inputted and replace it with a 4. Very similar to a backspace on a computer. That's it for this video, see you next time on The Calculator Guide.